you're searching for a video on how to make your Shopify store mobile friendly and optimize it for mobile e-commerce, stop. You're in the right place. In this video, I'll tell you how to optimize your Shopify store for mobile devices so you can provide a better shopping experience to your customers who shop on their phone. By the way, most people shop on their phone, so you definitely don't want to miss this. Hey, I'm Patrick from Kodak Converts, and my goal is to help you get more traffic to your Shopify store and turn that traffic into sales so you can make more money and grow your business. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the awesome content that I have planned to help you do just that. Today's video is all about optimizing your Shopify store for mobile devices. According to a study done by Oberlo, it was determined that since the year 2016, nearly three out of every four online purchases today is done through a mobile device. This means if you're not optimizing your store for mobile devices such as smartphones, you're leaving money on the table. Friends, please don't leave money on the table. I'll be running through five steps that you need to optimize your Shopify store for mobile e-commerce. And as always, stick around to the end and I'll give you a bonus tip to help you with all of this. Let's get started. Step number one, choose a responsive theme. A responsive theme adjusts your site's layout to fit different screen sizes. This is super important because there are many different types of smartphones on the market and they all have different screen sizes. You need to make sure your Shopify store looks good on all of them. A responsive theme ensures that your site is easy to use and navigate regardless of what device your customers choose to shop on. Shopify has a variety of free and paid themes that are all mobile responsive to choose from. Pretty much every theme on the Shopify theme marketplace is something you can use to ensure that your Shopify store is responsive. So just choose a theme that suits your brand and your product. But if you're confused about what theme to go with, just go with the Shopify Dawn theme. The Dawn theme is free and it's an amazing theme. But if you choose to buy your theme off a third party marketplace such as Etsy or Theme Forest, be sure to verify your theme is responsive, up to date with all of Shopify's theme best practices before you buy. Just reach out to the seller of the theme and make sure everything checks out. Step two, optimize your images. Optimizing images is essential to making sure that your site loads quickly on mobile devices. Large image files can slow down your store and make it so that customers have a difficult time navigating on your site. Generally, you're gonna wanna make sure you resize and compress your images and make sure you're using the WebP image format for each of them. Or at the very least, make sure the images are not too big for the space they'll be taking on a mobile device screen. If you're interested, I have a whole video about optimizing images on Shopify, and I'll remind you at the end of this video, check it out, so stay tuned. Step number three. Simplify your site's navigation. Remember, mobile screens are smaller, so you need to simplify your site's navigation to make it easy for customers to find what they're looking for. A good rule of thumb is to have a maximum of five or six items in the main primary level of your navigation menu. If you have a bunch of links you need to put in the navigation menu, you need to come up with categories for all the links that are related and use a drop down menu or even a mega menu to organize and display all of the links. For example, if you have a bunch of collections on your Shopify store, it's probably a good idea to come up with a collections link at the main level of your navigation and group together all of your relevant collections underneath that collections link as part of a drop down or a mega menu. Fortunately for you, Dawn and many paid Shopify themes have drop down menus and mega menus ready to go. So you can leverage that to help make your navigation as simple as possible. Lastly, you need to figure out the most important links to your business and put them at the top level of your navigation. That's gonna be the first primary level of it. This makes it so that customers can easily find these links and go exactly where you're looking to go on your store. Step number four, optimize your checkout process. One of the most important aspects of mobile optimization is to optimize your checkout process. The checkout process should be simple, clear, and easy to use. You're gonna wanna make sure that your store makes it as easy as possible to get the checkout. So I recommend using things like Express Checkout on your Shopify store and allowing customers to check out as a guest without having to make an account first. Many customers don't wanna create an account just to make a purchase on your store. So make sure you give them the option to check out as a guest. Step number five, test your site's mobile responsiveness. 
Lastly, you need to make sure you test your site's mobile responsiveness for yourself. This means you need to take out your phone and visit your store and test the responsiveness for yourself. You need to go through all the links, all the pages, make sure everything works as you're using your store on your phone. Doing this puts you in your customer's shoes and lets you see the exact experience that they'll be having when they're shopping on your store. Please don't skip this part. It's honestly the most important part of optimizing your Shopify store for mobile e-commerce. You need to make sure sure everything on your site works, that it works well. This is especially important when launching new features or pages on your Shopify store. So get in the habit of doing this every now and again, and please don't skip this. Now, if you stuck around to the end, like I asked you to, I have a bonus tip that'll help you optimize your store for mobile devices. Today's bonus tip is to use tools like GT Metrics and Google Lighthouse to test your store's performance and usability on mobile devices. These tools can help you identify any mobile usability issues, such as slow loading times and poor mobile responsiveness. By addressing these issues, you can improve the overall user experience of your Shopify store and increase the chances of turning visitors into customers. If you do all the things I mentioned in the video, your store will be ready for mobile e-commerce. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, like the video and check out this next video about how to optimize the images of your Shopify store to boost speed. The tips in the next video should help you get the ball rolling on optimizing your Shopify store for mobile e-commerce. The video should be on the screen right here. So check it out, click it, and I'll see you in there.